Okay, group five, this is activity number 17, Analyze Like a Scientist. You'll find it in your textbook at page 43. This is a STEM in action. STEM means science, technology, engineering, and the mathematics. They are combined together. The farmers growing plants, irrigation and sunlight. Irrigation, this is the way how the farmers provide the plant or supply the plant with the water it needs. So this is the meaning of the word irrigation. Read the text, then look at the images, discuss one of the irrigation methods with your group. Write the pros and cons. The pros, these are the things that are useful or good, like the advantages about each way of irrigation method. Cons are like the disadvantages of these methods, of irrigation methods in the table that follows. So let's first read the, the paragraphs, then look at the pictures. One of the basic needs of plants is water. Yes, for sure. Farmers grow many plants across large areas. They cannot always rely on rainfall to water their plants. Yes, sometimes the farmers rely on the rainfall to water their plants, but not all the time. This led them to come up with different ways to get the water that the plant needs. What are these ways? These photos show a lot of irrigation systems, systems to provide the plants with the water it needs. You can see the irrigation sprinklers, sprinklers like the first one. This is the irrigation sprinklers. This is the ones that spray the water over a large area of plants. And we also have an irrigation canal, irrigation canal. This is the second picture. This is the irrigation canal. And in the third one, and an irrigation pump truck, irrigation pump truck. Look at it. This is the third picture, an irrigation pump truck. So this is a truck that contains or holds water and it has a pump that spray the water over the plants. So these are three irrigation methods. Number one, the irrigation sprinklers, as you can see, it sprinkles the water above the crops and the irrigation canals. And the last one is the irrigation pump truck. Okay. We know that water is a basic need of plants. The images above show many ways that farmers get water to their crops. So we already know that water is a basic need for plants. The images above show many ways that farmers get water to their crops. Another basic need of plants is sunlight. This is a major thing that the plants need. Look at the photo of the plants leaves in the sunlight. Look at this picture, can you see? how the plant leaf looks in the sunlight. It looks bright and it looks alive. Okay. Leaves use sunlight for photosynthesis. Do you remember the chlorophyll in the chloroplast? Sunlight is the energy source. The amount of sunlight a plant receives affects how much the plant grows. Do you remember when we already watched the experiment or this experiment was illustrated before. The boy was growing a plant in the light and a plant in the dark. Do you remember the difference in the growth of the two plants? So it depends on the amount of sunlight. The amount of sunlight a plant receives affects how much the plant grows. You can see why this is very important to farmers. Sunlight affects the size of their crops. Okay, then what? So now we will talk about the irrigation method. Then we will write down the pros and cons. The pros, this is the advantage or the good side of this irrigation method. The cons are the bad side or the defects, the disadvantages of this irrigation method. Guys, so now let's move to the irrigation method. I need you to talk about one of the irrigation methods. Think about what are the pros, what are the good sides of this irrigation method, and what are the disadvantages or the cons of this 
irrigation method. Let's talk about the first irrigation method, which was the irrigation sprinklers. Can anyone talk about irrigation sprinklers? What you can see from the picture? What is the advantages and the disadvantages of this irrigation method? Come on guys, think. Anyone can help? Okay, Mahmoud. Yes, Mr. Ka Mr. Can you hear me? Yes, but I need you to speak louder, please. Okay. So. Uh, what is the question, uh, please? We are talking about advantages and disadvantages of different irrigation methods. So yes. you can see now these are the irrigation sprinklers. The ones that spray the water over large area. So yes. do you see what is the advantage of this irrigation sprinklers, for example? Uh, because uh, the, the fruit of the crops will be will get bigger. Okay, and what are the disadvantages? Uh, um, um, disadvantages. Maybe it sprays too much water. Yes, or the it will make the uh, yeah, the water will make uh, some and yeah, um, the people can't walk. Okay, thank you. This is great. Now let's talk about another irrigation method. What about irrigation canals? Irrigation canals, Iyad Ahmed? Yes, mister. Yes. What are the advantages and disadvantages of irrigation canal? Um, uh, the people cannot drink. What? The people cannot drink. Cannot what? People cannot drink. Cannot drink. We are we are talking about irrigation method, not for drinking. This is for the plants. The plants will not grow. Why the plant will not grow? This is an irrigation method. Why you say that the plants cannot grow? Thank you. Faisal. Yes, Mr. Yes. Yes. What are the advantages and disadvantages of irrigation canals? Uh, uh, in here, the picture? Yes. Yeah, okay. Uh, the plants, uh, it, it's in all in, 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 in many places, and it will, and it will come grow. It will be taller. Okay, thank you. So in this canals right here, it saves water. Instead of spreading too much water, it saves water. But the disadvantages is that if there is a hill or the slope of the earth is moving up or increasing. In this case, the irrigation canals will not let the water flow up. This is a disadvantage or a con. Then let's move to the third way of irrigation. This is irrigation pump truck. Can anyone tell the advantages and disadvantages of irrigation pump truck? Abdurrahman Al Harbi. Imagine. Uh, the pump truck. Uh, 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 okay. The pump truck may give uh, more water, or it can break. Then it could be, and uh, there can give more water, so it can break, and the crops will not like the uh, the plants will die with too much water. Okay. Excellent. Thank and you. The water is too big. Yes. Thank you. Okay, guys. Let's look at the answers of this part. 
So the irrigation canal, for example, what are the pros? Irrigation canals, just a second, guys. So the irrigation canals do not use fossil fuels, do not use gas, do not use the, the fuels that we use in our trucks or even in the irrigation sprinklers. This is a benefit from the irrigation canals. It is easy to get water from the canal to the fields. The canal can catch and store rain as well. But what are the cons? What are the disadvantages? The water canals can't flow uphill. When there is a hill or the slope is growing or increasing, the canals cannot work there. Water can soak into the soil around the canal and do not reach the place that needs water. This is for example. Okay, so now let's go to our booklet, the pages five and six. Get ready, guys. is the pages today we'll solve the pages five and six in our booklet this is question number 11 if you know the answer just raise your hand come on guys question number 11 Zaid uh, Mr. Page what? Page five read and answer the question it's in front of you okay okay Many plants can store the food in their parts as the glossius, lactose, the starch. 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 Thank you. Muhammad Abdul Hafiz, question number 12. I'm not sure, but I will try. The plants is proof dead with a transport Divided. system, which is called vascular system. A vascular system. Excellent. Thank you. Number 12, letter B, vascular system. We're coming. Mustafa Abdul Azim, number 13. Yes, Mr. Yes, Mr. Can you hear me now? Yes. During photosynthesis, processing the light energy transport into uh, chemical energy in glucose, physical energy in water, chemical energy in oxygen, chemical energy in, in oxygen. Are you sure? Yes. I need you to read the question again. Okay. During photosynthesis, process the light energy transport into oh energy and water energy what? and water energy and water it is not energy and water it's energy in not and and also this is not the correct answer the right one is chemical energy in glucose the product of photosynthesis where the light energy is transformed into chemical energy in the glucose molecules. Thank you, Mustafa. Okay, number 14, Tamim. Yes, mister. This holes in the leaves help in transporting glucose uh, to the other parts water to the other parts neutral to the other part water to the other part is the water produced by the leaves so the materials that will be transported from the leaves it will be something made by the leaves, right? Yeah. So what is made by the leaves? Glucose to the other part. Yes, glucose to other parts. Excellent, thank you. 
Number 14, the answer is letter A, glucose to other parts. Okay, guys, it's cap number 15. This is not in our curriculum. We do not need it. Let's move to number 16. Yad? Yes, mister. Number, uh, number, uh, number what? 16. 16, okay. Plants use energy from sunlight to make their own food from water and the carbon dioxide through a progress called photosynthesis. Photosynthesis, excellent, thank you. Faisal, number 17. Okay, uh, number 17. Uh, the first word, or in the uh, what is of plants. Uh, what? Read it again. Okay. Put uh, sin, uh, put sin, sins, uh, or put your senses, uh, or yes. in the uh, club occurs in the uh, club pulse of plant seeds, which gas is uh, really training this processor, uh, carbon, uh, uh literacy. Please read the question carefully again. It says okay. photosynthesis occurs in chloroplasts of plant cells. Which gas is released? Which gas is produced during this uh, okay. process? Oxygen? Not, uh, not oxygen, not oxygen. Uh, B. What is your final answer? Uh, B. Actually, it is A, oxygen. Thank you. Then let's move to page six. Zaid. Yes, mister. Jack plants a flower plant in a flower pot. He used the rich soil and water to it regularly. Regularly. He then placed the plant into a sealed plastic bag and hide it in, in his closet for a week. He still started the plant daily. Still water. Plants, still water. The plant daily, but this plant did not survive. Jack's plant did not survive because he did not provide water and frozen pollen and seed, air and sunlight. Number C, which are basic needs for the plants. Number C, Mr. Right. So the answer is letter C, air and light. Yes, he irrigated the plant, he watered the plant, but it was put in a plastic bag okay. and in the dark. Yeah, the the in the garden. Yes, excellent. Thank you. The answer is letter C. Okay. Then, Pais, question 19. Pais. Okay, Ahmed Ihab. Yes, Mr. Yes, question 19, please. A long dry screen in a long line. Oh, no, the long upper dry one, season. sorry. Sorry, this is a mistake in the numbering. I need this question. Vascular oh, okay. plants. Vascular plants have tubes running up and down through the roots. Uh, root system and leaves which you carry food to all of the plants. Those groups of uh, tubes, are, uh, tubes are called um, It says patient. carry food to all of the plant. So it carries food. Uh, flow. Flow. Oh, and letter B. Excellent. Thank you. It is flowing. This is great. Abdullah Umran. This one, of the long run. 
Abdurrahman. Yes, Mr. Yes, Abdullah. Come on, read and answer this question, Abdullah. Uh, a long dry season in a rainforest produced below average rainfall and some plant population declined afterward. Why did the change in climate affect plant growth in the region 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 mm -hmm. okay abdullah so the question here says this is in the rainforest but there was no rain for a long time it was a long dry season okay so there is no enough water some plant oh. populations, some plants started to die or the number of trees started to decrease, becomes less. So the question says, why did the change in the climate affect growth in this region of the rainforest? Mm, dry season. The dry season caused a decline in air temperature. Decline means a decrease. Will the air temperature yeah, um, or an increase in soil nutrients or the amount of water in the ground? Uh, B. Read it, please. Is the dry season used an increase in soil nutrients? The dry season without water there will be more nutrients in the soil or less? Less. Less. So I think letter B is not correct. Yes, yes. A or two. Okay. So what is your answer? Uh, Mr. D? D, yes. The dry season reduced the amount of water in the ground, which is an important thing for the plants, important need for all plants. Excellent, Abdullah. The answer is the last one. Okay, question seven says match each word with its suitable description. We have woody stems, fibrous root, tap root, xylem, and the oxygen. So let's move on. Iyad Ahmed, number one, woody stems. Yes, master. Woody stems? Um, uh, covered with four? No. Um, Come on, what's your answer? Um, okay, thank you. Zaid? Yes, Mr. Woody stem. Uh, Woody stem is uh, it's it's covered with bark and tough outer protection layer. Excellent. So the woody stem covered stuff. with bark, a tough outer protection layer. Thank you, Abdurrahman Al Harbi. Number two, fibrous root. Fibrous root, uh, fibrous root, thin branching root. Thin branching root. Excellent. Thank you, Mustafa Abdul Azim. Tap root. Tap root, single main stalk like a root. Single main stalk like root. Excellent. Thank you. Okay. Omar Mohammed, Xylem. Yes, Mr. Xylem. A series of few that move water and mineral, uh, minerals up in the plant. Excellent. Xylem is a series of tubes that move water and minerals up in a plant. Okay. Muhammad Abdul Hafiz, oxygen. Yes, teacher. Yes, oxygen. Oxygen, yeah. Which one, Mohammed? Um, a waste product in foot. No, a series of tubes that move 
What are the minerals mm. up in the plant? No, no, no. Sure. No, si no. Uh, single man, single man, talk like roach. No. Always product and photosynthesis process. This is your final answer. Yes. Okay, excellent. Oxygen is a waste product in photosynthesis process. Thank you. Thank you, guys. I'm so proud of you.